وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا أُولَائِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَحِيمِ Same thing, you know, the contrast always. When there is the mention of the Muslim moments, then what will be the end and lot of the unbelievers? As for those who disbelieve and belie our signs and ayat, they are the companions of hellfire. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تُحَرِّمُوا طَيِّبَاتِ مَا حَلَّ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا O you who believe, don't declare as unlawful, forbidden, whatever is pure, whatever is good, مَا حَلَّ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ which Allah has declared as permissible. وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا Don't exceed the limits. Now this is another extreme form. When somebody becomes, you know, overpoised, pious, overbuttaqi. Marana Madhudi used to use the term taqwa ka heza. It is the condition, you know. Then you know they are not using even the permissible things. So to to take something which is haram and make it halal for you is a big crime. But equally big crime is to make something, to declare something haram which is lawful. If you declare a halal haram or if you declare a haram halal, both are equal. So one must be very cautious. Don't be extremist. Don't go to the other end. Inna Allah la yuhibbu al-mu'tadeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like those who exceed the limits. We find in Quran, you know, even the Prophet himself was admonished, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ayyuhal nabi, lima tuharrimu ma ahlullahu lakta taqeem arbaat al-wajit. Oh Prophet, why are you declaring for you, for yourself, as haram, I will not take it anymore now. But Allah has made permissible for you. Whatever is permissible, never you know, go to the other side or the other extreme. And do it what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. And if it is halal and tayyab, pure and clean and permissible. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي أَنْتُمْ بِهِ مُؤْمِنُونَ And have taqwa. Always remain conscious of Allah. On whom you have the belief and faith. If you profess to have the belief and faith in Him, and you, you remain unmindful of Him, unconscious of Him. Now, this reminds me of a saying of a saint. Although he was illiterate. But he was a very past person. I remember him. He has died now. He used to say, Jo dam ghafil, so dam kafir. The moments that you pass, unmindful of Allah, these moments you have passed as unbelievers, not believers. Never be unmindful of Allah. Allah should remain at the conscious level. Every moment. So this is another definition of kufr and Islam. If you are unmindful of Allah, really this time has passed in a sort of kufr. Jo dam ghafil, so dam ghafil. La yuakhadukum Allahu billaghi fi amanikum. Allah is not going to take you to task regarding your unintentional oaths. And this is the habit of our Arab brethren. Wallahi, billahi. They won't start a single sentence without wallahi. What is this wallah? Are you taking an oath? Are you declaring on oath and swearing? But it is just, you know, a, a word of common use. They don't, they don't mean it. So this is love. Allah is not going to. He is not such a hard taskmaster. He will just ignore. Unintentional. 
ولا کی یو آخر کو میں ماں قتم المان بٹ اینی او دیٹ یو ٹیک سیریسلی انٹینشنلی ول دیٹ ول بی اکاؤنٹیڈ فار ناؤ اف یو ڈونٹ فلفل اٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ اے سن فکفار اف یو وانٹ ٹو بریک سچ اے سچ این اوتھ دیر از این ایکسپیشن واٹ از دیٹ ات عام و عشرت مساکین عشرت مساکین فیڈ ٹین پور پیپل مین اوسط مات ابون اہلی کو بٹ دس شوڈ بی دی ایوریج فوڈ دیٹ یو گو ٹو یور فیملی ناٹ دیٹ یو آر یوزنگ سکس کورس ڈنرس اینڈ یو گو دم سم لوفس آف بریڈ اینڈ یو نو سم تھنک گو اینڈ نمبر از کمپلیٹ ٹین ٹین پیپل آئی ہیو فیڈ دم نو مین اوسط مات ابون اہلی کم او کس وت Or you give them the clothing to these ten persons. Or tahrir or akabatin. Or setting free one slave. And here it is not essential that he should be Muslim or Mu'min. Rakabatin Mu'mina. La. Rakaba. Khalas. Faman lam yajid fasiyamu salasati ayyamin. Whosoever can't afford it. So he have to keep fasting for three days. ذَلِكَ كَفَارَةُ اَمَانِكُمْ This is the expiation for your for your oaths. اِذَا حَلَفْتُمْ When you have taken them seriously. وَحْفَذُوا اَمَانَكُمْ And you must protect and keep your oaths. كَذَلِكَ يُبَيُّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes His commandments clear to you so that you should be thankful to Him. is clear in everything 